Myasthenia gravis is a rare autoimmune condition that causes weakness in muscles. When I say autoimmune, I'm talking about a condition where the body attacks itself. And some of the common symptoms that we see in this condition is uh, weakness with the eyes or eyelid movements. You may get a droopy eyelid, uh, problems with facial expressions, weakness with chewing or talking, even swallowing, potentially even breathing uh, in some of the more severe forms. Also, people with myasthenia gravis uh, may have problems moving their arms and legs and even weakness in other muscles. And this is the thing, this weakness gets worse with activity. So by the end of the day, the weakness is worse. It gets better with rest. And I might, and I'd rather I should also say that fatigue, profound fatigue, is often a symptom of myasthenia gravis as well. The issue here is a problem, or rather an error, in how nerve signals are sent to muscles. Remember, we have to have instructions sent to our muscles to tell them what to do. And in myasthenia gravis, that signal is not communicated properly. We also think the thymus, a gland involved in the immune system, may play a role as well. Now, who gets myasthenia gravis? Well, uh, it can affect people of any age, but it's most common in young adult women under the age of 40, and in older men uh, over the age of 60. It's usually not inherited, um, and it doesn't normally affect infants, but if you're pregnant and have myasthenia gravis, it is possible to pass antibodies to the fetus. Symptoms are really gonna depend on which muscles are affected. And remember, weakness is sort of the name of the game here. So people may have weakness of the eye muscles, drooping of one or both of the eyelids, blurred or double vision, changes in your facial expressions, trouble swallowing or problems speaking, weakness in your arms and your hands, fingers, legs, even neck. And different people with myasthenia gravis are going to have different levels of muscle weakness and the weakness can vary from day to day. Some days it could be mild, other days it could be worse. And remember, as I said before, physical activity often makes the muscle weakness worse. We're talking about after doing things, at the end of the day, et cetera. Uh, it can actually even be so severe that it affects the muscles that control breathing, and that's actually a life-threatening emergency. You know, the good thing here is that there are ways to diagnose it. There's testing, right? Your doctor's going to ask you a ton of questions. If you're wondering, how would I know that I have it? Of course, any symptoms that are unusual, you're going to talk with your doctor about. But your doctor is going to ask you a number of questions. They're going to do a number of tests, imaging tests. They're going to do nerve tests, blood tests, etc. Now, when it comes to treatment, well, there is no cure for myasthenia gravis, but there are treatments that can help improve the muscle weakness and help improve symptoms. And your doctor will go along, you know, sort of describe these and discuss what's right for you. There are treatments along sort of many different spectrums. Just understand that this condition is rare, but it can be quite impactful for those who have it. If you're watching this video and you have it or you know someone who does, please comment below and let us know how you're doing and what symptoms you might have. I know that whatever you write is likely going to help other people. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen Caudill, practicing family physician, on-air health expert and video creator. I do daily videos. Please follow me on Facebook. Please subscribe to my channel on um, uh, YouTube. I'm on Instagram, TikTok, LinkedIn, WhatsApp. And please subscribe to my free health newsletter at drjencaudill.com.